Hey, Steve Taylor here for Amazon.com, giving you a quick look at this little tripod. Uh, good for cameras and uh, phones, and probably good for an internet camera too, if you want to just have some little thing sitting on your desk holding a camera. It's pretty neat. Um, you just, uh, we'll start by looking at it here. You push the little button, and this top slides off, and so your camera is released real easily from this little attachment. And then you just take a screwdriver or, or a quarter and you unscrew this from your camera. It's a standard uh, screw in there, so it'll fit uh, any camera on the market that I know of anyway. So that's kind of a neat little thing. And then it locks into place. Uh, it moves pretty well, and you can put it just about in any position. These will bend completely around. So uh, if, you, if you're on a very uneven surface, if you're taking time-lapse photography or something, uh, up in the mountains with uh, rocks and things like that. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stand just about on anything you can possibly imagine. It's got nice rubber feet. Unfortunately, they're white, but what can you do? And then all of the white part is rubber, and then the black is plastic on plastic. It stands at the highest point uh, to, the, to the top piece here at 9.5 inches. It weighs 5.6 ounces. It comes with this attachment, so you screw it in here. And then you uh, uh, pull this out, and then it locks your phone into place. Unfortunately, I have the Nokia 1520. Well, it's not unfortunate. It's a great phone. It doesn't fit. So if you have uh, anything smaller than a 6-inch screen, I would say that you'd probably be okay. It has a foam pad here, and it has rubber up here to kind of help keep it in place a little bit. This isn't the best quality spring system in the world, but it, you know it works. So um, if you're looking for a small little uh, tripod uh, that's inexpensive and lightweight and should last quite a long time, then I think you may have found it. Hopefully you found this helpful, though. This is Steve Taylor. It's Amazon.com.